Well, I expected that to be a little bit longer. Fresh out the box. I can just relax now. audio is even going because the wind is back up to like a 15 sustained we're out here again on lake harris we're uh sorry guys videos are going to be a little choppy over the next couple of weeks but we're going to get it all together here soon we got all the gears up we got all the gopros are working now and all the bugs and kinks and stuff are worked out so we're going to have some fun we're going to go back to continuing to try some of the tried and true stuff the weather today is 65 Little chilly, but it's supposed to be 70 degrees today. Yesterday it was freezing, 30 degrees. Today we're out here in shorts and t-shirts. Not a lot of sunshine yet. It's kind of overcast. Uh, hopefully later in the day, some fish will be running through here. Like I said, right now we're at a different spot. We're sitting in about 10 and a half feet of water. And uh, what's the water temperature today, Jay? 58 degrees today so we're gonna go back to working some of the same stuff we've been working I'm gonna try a couple of different things before showing you guys what's actually working out here so like I said let's get some fish make sure he's nice and straight yeah, he looks pretty good he looks like a good swimmer he's a strong swimmer Susan she it's old salty Susan again that sounds like a bomber. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, bud. That's exactly what that is. Sounds like an air raid siren if I've ever heard one. All right, so we're going to fish and keep an eye on the sky. For sure. Because yeah, I'm jumping in this 58 degree water if I see some bombs dropping. I think we're safer under there than we are here. I don't think we're a big target though. Nice cast. You got the little minnow on there again, huh? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Come here, buddy. I'm trying, buddy. No, I don't think so. There we go. I got it. Nice. Oh, my little guy right there, huh? Good start to the day, huh? Huh? Get out of here. Hattie, how do you feel about that? I feel good. I feel real good. 10 minutes into fishing, I got like what, maybe well, we could play the film back six, seven casts or something. Max, I think you're in a better spot than me, to be honest with you. That makes me feel good about today yeah it's probably a technique thing you got a fluke on there right now yeah no i got the minnow z oh that's right you told me that already i was excited i forgot that's why i said i'm wondering if he didn't come in on me but bit you like what it was you cast exactly where my bait was throwed him right in there for me bud i'm sure thanks I'll give you 0.07% credit for that. I feel I deserve at least that. Credits will earn you a fish one day. It'll take a long time to add up at that, at that rate, but one day. Anyways, I'm golden. 
It's fresh out the box. I can just relax now. <laughs> Somehow out of that spot that I was trying to fish in. I've had the anchor laid out almost full rope. I should I might have to go full rope. Don't tell me it's not. Like that. <laughs> it feels like a hundred foot rope wind day. Right now I got 15 of 20. <laughs> we'll be sitting over there. It could be anywhere in this 200 feet. It's not bad, actually. It's a good idea. Especially if the wind's changing direction and just keep pushing us around. You know, I already caught my fish in that spot. I'm going to let you have it. I'm going to work this dock over here. It's all around you. I'm just embarrassed, right? Yeah, I, well, I tried that same cast. You see mine? Mine landed right on the roof. Landed right on the roof. Well, I mean, I'm hunting a lot further than you are, bud. No. I think something just bit at me. Yeah, you said there might not be anything in there. 58 degree water. Patty is back on Susan. Susan has shown to be the deadliest thing in the lake. Every time. I mean, big, small, it don't really matter. We're just hitting the temperature change here on Lake Harris. What, the third good day of cool weather? Or downright cold? Cold? Yeah, I'd say cold. I think I might be using way too light a line for this. Uh, look at this. Well, I was almost in a tree. It's just feet. Blowing at feet. I want to feel something big. Just don't tear at it so I can tear at it. He hit pretty hard. I thought he was a good size. Yeah, I saw that. He yanked him out of the water. Bottom down there? Yeah. That's the, uh, paddle tail. The paddle tail. Yeah, I'm giving the occasional twitches and a slow reel. I think you're getting more reaction strike, and I think that might be the thing. No, I think I let it drop down over there. I might have given it one or two pulls when he hit it. I didn't think I had anything at first. Really? So he hit it on the fall, which is the usual. Yeah. And I was giving it. Uh, pretty good rest you know every every couple of seconds yeah, I guess but I'm also using I think a tenth ounce three yacht uh, it? yeah well it's a, uh, it's a uh, finesse shrooms head okay. so it's gonna float down erratically I watched that cast too it was like right in my eye I saw everything that was going on you did you even commented on that cast yeah. I did because I, I literally was three feet back from you and had just seen my bait in that exact spot. Fish on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, light line, bud, light line. You gonna give me the assist, please? I got him. You got him, you got him, you got him. Nice. Nice. Different fish, too. Always like that. Oh, what's his name? Is he different? Has he got a hole in his eye? No. Same spot, right? No. Must be something happening over in that area. He's a little bigger. Sorry, bud. Not bad. Fish pick, Patty. Hold up, man. I'll have yeah, it. I'll just do this. There you go. Mm. All right, bud. Big release. You ready? Nice. You guys, sorry, you didn't see any of that. I gotta fix that issue. Well, folks, the Minnow Z and the Super Fluke are proven to have some efficiency. I think that was about the extent of how much uh, line I could put on that. What do you think? 
as far as how I pulled up and my hook set and everything. I think. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I was on their patio knocking stuff out of their ashtray. Awesome. I have to leave a little note when they come home and their ashtray is turned over. I landed in the ashtray. Yeah, I did catch a fish. That's why I'm going to leave a note. Sorry about the ashtray. But I did catch a fish. Something's got to be over this way somewhere. I just saw a fish just a minute ago. He was right there. Where'd he go? Well, I feel better. The score is cha-ching one to one were you working that thing did you let it drop to the bottom working it i'm trying every different technique i can on you can just pull that sucker along right yeah, yeah. Jerk every now and then, yep but you're not letting it drop down some sometimes it just yeah i'm erratic i haven't really set a method with it yet my erratic method so far has me one so i will continue to uh, assault the landscape with my erratic method until it doesn't produce uh, yeah i got gotcha. you right here there's got to be a fish right here i'm uh, i'm coming with the revo x i think this is the 73 7.3 medium. This is my finesse rig right here. I call it Batman spin cast. Got the six pound Seaguar Smackdown. So that's like a 10 pound braid on there, but six pound diameter. So it's real light, real small. Uh, we've had one break on this line. Could have been, it probably was a pretty big fish. <clears throat> oh, perfect perfect spot i mean i caught it right in there man that i mean could have worked out better but i will say the line just flies out i mean i know braid technically flies out regardless but i really this cigar casts real nice it's it's holding its shape i haven't really seen it fray like the spider wire does but I'm gonna go ahead and put it through probably 22,000 casts over the next week, the way I cast. We're coasting out of the spot here somehow, some way. I'm gonna try to hit these pads back here in a minute. What was that? We got a fish under the boat. So saith, so saith the oracle. <laughs> I don't know if I believe it or not. Spouting lies. I don't see it. <laughs> and you're wearing polarized sunglasses, so... About two and a half, three feet down. Well, I am poised and in ready to strike mode. I'll tell you that right now. I feel the slightest, even faintest bit of resistance. It's going to trigger my... Snap! You know what I'm saying? It's going to be fast, too. I might even be careful because I probably... Oh, I had to adjust the drag. Here I go with the drag. I had to be careful, though, because I don't want to hurt myself setting a hook. You know what I mean? I can get a little crazy. Down that way. Right up there? Yeah. Oh, look at that skip up under the dock. Did you see it? Oh, of course you did. Every time I do something super cool, like stick it up under a dock on a double skip. Caught it on the, uh, the the one where you shot it to the roof there. I caught that. Look at that. You didn't see that either, did you? Well, laugh it up till I catch me a fish. This area looks promising. Yeah, I, I'm. I think I might be too light line to be tangling around in here. Oh. Just missed him. And just so everybody knows, this is the uh, Diesel Swim Z that I super glued in the, from the back porch episode. Just so everybody knows. When I get a confirmed sighting on that fish finder, I, I, I'll concede that it recognizes fish. It's correctly. <laughs> Until that day, I need to hit the springs up and find out where are the fish. 
What's the depth over here? We're like six, seven feet of water here. Behind the boat. So it's a good couple seconds to drop to get down there, maybe three. Uh, depends on your weight, man. I'm trying to just stay in that middle column is I think where I'm working right now. Just into the stained water. I got the Houdini four inch minnow Z paddle tail and the one tenth ounce Z-Man finesse power finesse rooms jig head. So we'll see. Little boating tip there, folks. If you do use an anchor, don't stand between the line and the water. Just don't stand in the line, period. I got big fish swells in the middle of this channel. Oh. Something just tried me for. Oh, I got him. Oh. Bud, two swings and misses, man, but they were two solid swings. I know you heard both of them. I heard that second one. He hit it double time, dude. He hit it once, you heard me miss the hook set, and then he came back at it a second time. You heard that, right? There was two hook sets on that little mission there. I can't believe I just missed another fish, dude. Props to the Lose Custom Black, guys. Just so you know, if you get a chance to invest in something, you really want to make a, a big investment, but it's worth the money. If you're just getting started out or you're almost to the point where you think you're ready to upgrade to some, some quality stuff, that Lose Custom Black has proven to be a just a fantastic setup. Whether you do the 6'6 six, six or the 7 foot, Jay does the 7, I do the 7'3". I'm shorter, so it's a little bit different. Small hands. It's a small hands. I compensate by carrying a bigger fishing pole. That's dangerous, but it is ready to set a hook. I can tell you that right now. Folks, so far, good times. You see, we're still early in the day. A lot of different places to check out here over the next couple of hours left in the trip. Yeah. Woohoo, folks. Wondering if I should go to like some high viz line when I'm working these. Uh, bottom baits like this see a lot of guys use high vis line with their worms and stuff like i said i just try to do what they do and see if it works and some of it does i gotta give props to this for sure this has been a, a deadly little lure here the minnow z bunch of mist fish on it though too but that could just be the hook using that smaller three-aught hook you know what i mean yeah. but when it sets if, if the hook sets 100% of the time, it's brought a fish in. Amen to that. So, and that's like a good stat. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. 100%, that's the, that's the best stat. I mean, not trying to promo the product or nothing, but maybe it's more the technique. I can't believe I missed that last hook set. Dude, I, I mean, I hook set that thing like a beast, dog. You feel me? And it, <laughs> nothing. So that was either a good sized fish, a turtle, or a mudfish, or I don't know, but it, I hook set it to kill it. I was trying to get it to come out the water, and it just, it didn't go no. I hear fish. Do you hear fish? I hear fish. What do they say, Jay? What do they say? Throw it over here. <laughs> <laughs> they whisper to you, do they? If Caesar can talk to dogs, then Jay Wilk can talk to fish. Why not? It's all the same thing. I heard somebody say today, you can run that the <laughs> Z upside down. Texas rig. We're about to find out. If not, I lost this rig. <laughs> so we're going to try my dock technique. We talked about it. I got a fresh salty stew on. And uh, she has promised good things. Oh, I might put her on there a little bit. Cocked off to one side. I don't know how it's going to affect her performance. It's going to give her a nice, sexy sort of wobble to her, maybe. Just a wobbler. Trying to really entice something into, hey, coming out of its cover to give a little love, you know? Like a hoodie in the blowfish. 
just want him to hold my hand. I've seen a big turtle on the side of that thing. I don't know. It might have just been grass. I'm in pull out, you know, hook set mode, man. I'm in hook set mode, bud. Any little thing that this thing hits, I'm pulling to set a hook. You know what I'm saying? What's that? That's what I feel like, bud. Like, I'm ready. Let's do this. I've already got my one out of the way. I'm ready for like five pounds. Trigger finger. I'm setting hook on grass. Setting some hooks. You know what I'm saying? Setting them. Like, wah! I'm jerking on everything here. I said I hope I don't throw my back out. Because I'm intending, I want to see a fish in half paralysis when he comes up. He's like, like he doesn't even flip around. He's just stunned. Yeah, dude. The impact of the hook set was so intense that it put him into a semi-cardiac arrest. You know what I mean? We're in three foot of water here. Three. That's what it says. If you believe it. I don't believe that for a second. So it's been a couple of minutes. We've moved a couple of spots. Right now we're just gonna let nature kind of pull us around a little bit blow through this big muck pit here that I don't know if we're actually ever going to get out of. Fish on! Oh. No, bud. You didn't just see me catch this big tree? Yeah, there's still a lot of cover down here, man. There's for sure gonna be fish prowling around in this grass. Oh. Fish finder showing you anything? Not really. Bunch of debris in the water down here. Well, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for is a bunch of debris in the water to work these lures through and around. Stuff lives in them debris. I'm just, every piece of grass feels like something hidden. <laughs> so if you go ultra light, folks, be prepared for everything to feel like a strike. I thought I was, I am itchy, bud. I got that first one in me, and now I'm ready for every every feeling of motion change to be a fish. Like I'm not kidding; it's bad, man. Catch for a little while there. You mean you've had a streak of just you didn't catch one last time? No, last time out was a nothing burger. That, yep, then the speck, which that felt giant. This last one had a little bit of size to it. Keeper for sure. A little bit bigger than the one you caught, like inches, you know, inch maybe. Nothing crazy. Not quite like the one I caught would have been hunting yours in the food chain, you know what I mean? No, I don't think so. Something just came through here. There he is, fish on! Look at this guy! You just saw him. I just barely him. caught him. I hit a graze the top of the water there. You Come saw here, guy. Let me see what I got here. I don't want to stick my finger in there with that. Oh, there we go. Look at this guy. Look at that. I seen him working his way across the top of the water, huh? He was right here in the middle. I seen it. Nice. He just barely grazed the surface. I don't even know if he was hunting. I think he just came to the top and was swimming through. And I was like, I seen him right there. I'm going to cast right over here. Fatty hits a big second fish. That was awesome. I mean, you really can't knock today, man. I'm calling my shots like Babe Ruth, man. Uh, fish uh, right over there. Right over there. And bring one, I'm going to bring him through this way. He's going to be right here in this area. Just a second. Well, I need that second fish for sure. I need a big second fish. 
because you had one that was, you know, smaller. That last one was in a medium range. Still a little bit smaller than the one I caught. Think so. I don't know. That's debatable. Uh, it wasn't bigger, that's for sure. If anything, it would have to be the same fish. Exact same size. I'll concede that. <laughs> well, we know the action's definitely under the water. Oh. I don't know. That fish was right on top. It was, wasn't he? I could see his back when he swam by. So your theory of the fish at the top sunning is working for you, huh? It's doing me all right so far. Fall of the fluke that's causing him to strike at you? There'd be fish down there. Got him at two and a half feet down. I've got no visual. Cannot confirm that. What, what superpower would you have that would let you see two and a half feet down in this water? What's that? You can't see two and a half feet down in this water if you tried. No. The movement on this water is still way too much to even see in. I don't know, man. I got about a foot and a half of visibility, I think. That wasn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. Fish on. Get up here, brother. This guy's looking and killing it. Gotcha. Oh my god. Three. Fast. Right? That. Three. Three today. All right. Good release. Get back in here, buddy. Nice. I don't know. Patty's doing something different that we don't know about, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and just say I've had enough of guessing. And I guess Susan is still the weapon of choice. The Salty Sioux. Super lure. Made in the USA. I resist her. If, if worked in the right manner, she has to be managed properly. She's a high maintenance kind of girl. You know, she, uh, she needs a lot of love, but she does the trick if you treat her right. Alright, yeah, well, I just want to catch some fish, so I've had enough now. I put one fish in the boat, I was excited about it, I was like, you know what, I'm going to stick this out, I'm going to make this happen. That one was right here also. Yeah, I know. 10, 15 yards off the boat. Oh, this thing is swimming deadly. It makes me want to bite it. I actually watched that one come up, hit it right on top of the water too. So, maybe it's just the warmth of the sun's bringing them up here right now. Reaction strikes are still killing it here on Lake Harris. I mean, I gotta find me a monster lurker then to get back in the game here, huh? Score is three to one, and I am not enjoying this trip for sure. <laughs> Fun fact, mosquitoes know when to feed based on the change in barometric pressure. This is that big, big braid, 50 pounds. <laughs> Think about going with like a 30 pound. Oh, yeah. I got some 30 pound stealth gray. I just don't know if it matches the color scheme I was going for on this rod. <laughs> gotta worry about that. You do, you gotta, it's, you know. Fishing isn't just how you work your magic. Although today yours has been a mojo machine. I, on the other hand, am questing for that second fish. Yet we're both fishing in the same place. That's what's driving me nuts. 
I've had a couple of misses. I had that miss. I think that miss might have been my mojo. When I missed that fish earlier, I think that was all my power just because I put, you know, so much into that hook set. No more mojo. That I think it, it pretty much took all my fishing skills away for the day. On a subconscious level, I was... On a subconscious level, I'm, I'm you know, I think I'm still questing to figure out what went wrong there. Because that should have been my two up, which would have changed your game. I do. I do. I think it, right now you're riding the, the fishing mojo. That's what I think is going on. So if you were to put up five or even six today, I'd be like, well, you know, something. I mean, it just happened. What you're saying, three is not enough for you. I don't know. I just don't think I can do three today. I'm like all jittered up. Time's now a factor. Yeah, time's a factor. You caught a fish, I mean, that's that should have you like, you know, pretty pretty relaxed. It's doing just the opposite though, because the score. Yeah, you're racking up a lot of L's. <laughs> Ever since the big fish days, man. I come out and struck some big fish at one time and uh, made a big deal of it in the fishing gut. Fish. No. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. I know there's a lot of L's out there. All right, this is a lot bigger setup I'm working with here. This is my Vendetta 7.6. This is a medium fast. This thing is, or 7.4, this thing is a beast. It just feels like a lot, like a lot of rod, man. But it's light, so it's kind of weird. Pretty strong. Got a few fish on this one. A few. You got a lot of poles though. You're you're uh, switching between. I have to. I got a lot of fish on all of them. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> your, your, your catches have been distributed. Oh yeah. A lot of poles, whereas I just use these two poles mainly. This is a nice one. This loose custom black is real nice. And then I've got the black max over there that I got on a, a clearance for like 49 bucks. That was your intro to fishing, back to fishing. You can't cast near as far with it. I mean, this has got an extra 20 yards on it. How do you really make an every cast count today? Yeah, yeah, I try. Uh, I got all my uh, T's crossed and my I's dotted today. You know, I have uh, good feelings about everything. All my stuff's done. I didn't leave anything behind. Fish are picking up on it, I'm sure. You gotta get, you gotta get your mind on something. Just, yeah, man, it's bothering me. Yeah, I know. I'm just not putting the good vibes down the line, man. I feel it too. That's the worst part about it. It was like once I had, yeah. once I had to touch the phone, man, everything just went away. Meanwhile, I was like, I'm on it. I'm getting it. I'm laser focused. I'm ready to do this. And this is the part of fishing that people really don't see or people to see the reality of fishing it's always fun in games as long as you're catching fish for the guy in the boat that's got one just shows that something accidentally bit him it was the big hook set miss i'm going to tell you right now it just knocked my mojo right out of me you'll pull through it man it's going to get better for you stay positive think good thoughts I just cast over there. Go ahead. Fish on. Fish on. Watch this. Get, I'm trying to get in the middle of that duckweed there. and I'm going to work across the top of it like, okay, hey, I'm a lizard. I'm just walking by. Oh, oh no, I fell in the water. You know, and then I'm going to panic as soon as I get in the water. You're not a lizard. Well, that's what I'm trying to portray. They don't know that. Oh, well, lizard around here. I was surprised that there's no actual, like, lizard baits out there. I don't see any. I haven't seen any. Lizards? We almost got pooped on, bud. Yeah, look, there's two big drops of bird poop that just hit here and here. That looks more like they were aiming for you. They were close, bud. What are the odds? 
Maybe that's what that air raid siren earlier was about. It's a little premature, but here they come. They uh, overestimated their speed. It took them a couple hours to get here, but. All right, I beeped. Let me see. Make sure you beep, bud. Beep. Look at me. I see the red light on. Yeah, you're on. Oh, my fish on? Oh yeah, bud, I'm fish on. Oh my goodness, I'm worried about what you're doing, and I got a real one here, bud. Wow, folks, just so you know, uh, things happen when you're <laughs> testing your equipment. Because you drop down to the bottom. First cast. <laughs> Gotta let that sucker drop to the bottom, bud. He's a little bit bigger, huh? Oh. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking too. All right, big fish. Thanks, bud, I needed that. And the release. That's one. <laughs> well, guys. First cast, new spot, one fish. Score, two to three. Back to the good vibes. Patty's get my, he's in my hole right now. He's got the cast. Wind's doing weird directional stuff with us right now. But that was awesome. Yeah. I must say, I haven't had a fish feel like that in a minute which puts us at five limit fish today in an hour and a half. They're not big, doesn't matter. We still caught five fish in an hour and a half of fishing. So I'm good with that. You? Yep. I'm good with five fish in an hour and a half for sure. Good numbers. We got a couple more in us. We still got a few minutes left. I thought for sure I was hung in that lily pad. I caught, I set the hook with one hand out like this, so you're not even gonna get a chance to see any of that. I'm gonna have to pull that from your camera because you're looking at me. I'm looking at you, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be great. You didn't even have to set the hook. He just grabbed it and went, and it was. No, I said it. I did like this. See, there's see those lily pads right here. This is what I just came into: is these lily pads, and I thought I caught the lily pad. So I pulled up like I was trying to get out of the pad, and then I realized there was a fish on it when it went the other way fast. Fish on. The same guy. No, it ain't. That's a different one. Kaka! Are you working that down on the bottom? No, bud, that's just coming across the top. There it is. All right, here we go. Number three. Three. Killing it today. Patty has activated my superpower. Sorry, little guy. You have a good day, okay? We'll see you soon. Oh, he swam way strong. Well, folks, the score is 3-3. Three, three. We're keeping score this time. I bet it's going to flash up on the screen for sure. <laughs> this core flesh. When I win, only when only when it's close. Listen, I'm gonna say, if you're down here in Lake Harris and you're looking for something to catch fish, Susan's the answer. If you're using anything but Susan, you're nuts. Cause that was a different fish too. That wasn't the same one. Uh, he looked similar to me. No, the other one had a, a lazy eye. Oh, okay. I saw it. Boy, it's crazy how when I need a couple, huh? I swap right out old reliable and poop, poop, poop. Old reliable, huh? You, I mean, come on. This has been my most fish getting this pole. This one's gotten so many fish that I had to replace. You remember? I had to replace one of them already. Oh, yeah. That lure, though. 
Oh, no, no. I think it's 100% the fluke, bud. That's crazy. I mean, they're hitting this thing to tear it apart. You understand what I'm saying? That last guy, he bit it, like, strong. I couldn't even figure out how I got the hook in his mouth, let alone out. My barb was so, you know what I'm saying? He buried it, like, in the fleshy part of his face. So he hit it to hit it. Whoa, that... <laughs> Anchor's good. <laughs> that was an abrupt stop, bud. You almost lost me. I'm not kidding you at all. That would have been a great ending. Now on that note, we're gonna call it. The focus is so high right now. You can almost smell the focus. I mean, Patty's taking all shots right now. He's straight casting into who knows what. I'm gonna do the same thing because at this point, Oh, you missed that guy. Nice. He's over there, for sure. Yeah. Got it. Oh, bud, get that net, dog. I'm not kidding you. Get that net, Jay. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, he's a good size. Ooh, 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 nice ooh. ooh boys and nice girls. One. Boys and girls. A couple of pounds on that one. Yeah, uh, maybe a pound, pound and a half. Uh, Two pounds. Good. That's a three pound fish for sure. What a way to break the tie. What a way to break the tie. I wish our fishing buddies could have seen that. Two pounds, 15 ounces. All right, get a picture. It. All right, big guy, and that is the tiebreaker. As that big bass goes back into the world, high five! Good job. Awesome day of fishing, killing it today. Well, that makes things really interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, what time we got? <laughs> <laughs> the superpower was activated, folks. The superpower was activated. Patty said, We gotta go. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Four, three. What? I just had to shoot the score up again. All right, we feel the rain bearing down on us, so we're gonna get ready to head in. It has been a fantastic day of fishing though, so give us a minute. We're just catching a couple more casts because Patty is really looking for something bigger than three pounds right now. <laughs> really hoping there's something bigger than three pounds. And he's hoping it's right here, just hanging out, lurking. Like that one you caught on the dock. That's the one you're hoping is hanging out right now. Oh. I'd have been so mad if you'd have caught that fish. <laughs> Instead, the universe had a way of playing out exactly as it was supposed to play out. I went from Nilo to Action in a matter of minutes. You know, it'd be the cherry on top. This one right here. Just a dink. It's all I need. I need one more dink, just, just, just a little cherry. Oh, I'd love to lock into something with some fierceness on it. I thought it was this way. Go get him, Patty, get him. No, he was over there, right by the first bench. He's in the grass, he just made a hole. 
Well, today is done. We had a fantastic Great fishing day, fishing. day today. Just absolutely phenomenal. You can see the score down here. But look, check out some more of our videos up here because we're really trying to do this YouTube fishing thing. We're having a really good time doing it. The rain's set in. We're going to get up out of here for it's the day. On us. Uh, it's We've proven Susan. Salty Susan does it again. Every time. Every time. And the universe just so worked out that I ended up putting the big fish in the boat. But, you know, it's just these things happen. Great job today. Great bud. job. All right, guys. Well, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Check us out. And until next time, fish, fish on. on.